okay. <laughs> all right. She took her boots off, but that's all right. We'll still do this one. He's got boots. An another fairy tale, as it were. Yes. And the thing about fairy tales is we 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 tend to to romance the heroes in this. And and think about this particular fairy tale. This guy, the first thing he does is steal from his, well, he tricks his owner. He cons his owner out of the only thing the owner owns, which is a pair of boots and a sack, an old empty sack. All right, so he, he does a con job. That's the first thing he does. The second thing he does is run off with this empty sack and poach wild game in the forest. Then he goes to the king with the poached game and lies to the king saying, oh no, it's a gift from my master, the Marquis de Carabas. Here, enjoy that. So, okay, now he's lying to the, to the royalty. On his way home, he stops off in these fields and he asks these workers in the fields, who do you work for? And they're like, oh, we work for this mean old ogre down the street. And he goes, oh, no, 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 no. He says, he figures this out. He goes, if this ogre can terrorize these people, I can terrorize these people. So I'm going to tell them, look, next time somebody asks you who you work for, you tell them you work for the Marquis de Carabas. Because if you don't, I'm going to come back and carve you and your family into 5,000 little pieces for my master's table. Are we clear? So now he's terrorizing. Right? And on, uh, he's not finished. No, he's not finished. After doing all that, after, after, after conning and poaching and lying and terrorizing, he goes straight over to the ogre, tricks him into turning himself into a mouse, and probably eats him, and I do believe that's murder. <laughs> but Puss is a hero. And you know why Puss is a hero? Because he knows the basic truth. He knows the truth that when things are really down and all you've got is an empty sack and your wit, your wit stands for whatever it takes. So you got the raw end of the deal. It's the heart, not the head, that determines what's real. If you're stuck in your life where you don't want to stay, open up, light your heart, and then make your own way. Locked inside, working hard is for some. Tell you now that I never will be that same one. Gentle breeze and the wide of a beckoning road makes for stories from which all great legends are told. Give me tall boots and let me roam free. I can make you the master of your destiny. Empty bag of my wits about me. I will bring all the pleasures of life so the whole world can see. With my boots I am free. Some folk think they must follow the rules Tell you now that there are very different schools We should not be controlled by the whims of our fate And I think that it's foolish to sit around and wait Give me tall boots and let me roam free I can make you the master of your destiny Empty bag of my wits about me I will bring home pleasures of life So the whole world can see With my boots I am free With these boots I am free I can make something real out of my fantasy Inspiration's the key That I'll use to create what I want My own fate now to be I can do many things. Dot to commoners, jacks, queens, and high lofty kings. Kick a bad guy right out of his big shiny house. Cause in my eyes, he's only a little fat mouse. Give me tall and let me roam free. I can make you the master. 
Thank you. 